Thanks, Chrissy. Um, so yeah, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm Original Sin. I'm one of the head coaches for Crash Course uh, under our fearless leader, Chrissy Crash. Uh, I have been playing Derby since 2010 and uh, am now a captain of the Red Stick Roller Derby All-Stars here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where we are also quarantined and suspended from activity. So I wanted, uh, I came to Chrissy and we wanted to simulate these practices um, and make them as accurate as possible what you're getting, right? Mentally, even though you're in the, a different space. So what we like to do is we like to set intentions uh, at the beginning of every practice. And it's something that you can come back to at the end to reflect on. Uh, when I set intentions for my practice, it really depends on what I'm trying to accomplish. Uh, am I trying to push myself to that max level? Am I looking to leave my comfort zone? Is my intention for that practice to do something new and scary? Am I looking to just be aware of my body and, and what am I feeling that kind of day? Um, for today, my intention is to uh, use my space and really get um, a challenging, stimulating workout with a small space. And so I'm looking for challenge and simulation and effectiveness. So the first thing we're going to do is the dynamic warm up after we've set our intention, brought our minds fully into our space and into our practice. Uh, Christy is going to uh, demo the dynamic warm up for us, and we'll just uh, we'll walk you through it. So the first thing we're going to do is this dynamic warm up, by the way, is going to be about five minutes um, using again whatever space you've got. Each exercise is going to be roughly 30 seconds. Um, you can pick a number of reps to do. Don't spend too much time. You want to get your body moving and your body awake and ready to go. First thing you're going to do is some walking lunges. As you can see, Chrissy is doing kind of a, a lunge out, raising arms into the air. We're looking at opening up those hips. You don't need to bring that back leg all the way to the ground. And again, two or three, whatever space you have. Yes. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> the next one uh, is going to be just some jumping jacks. Let's get that heart rate up. Again, about 30 seconds of this, heart rate up, feet out, arms up, and get that moving. And then we're going to do some uh, high knees. Uh, again, an active movement. You're going to bring those knees up, 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 and keep it moving for about 30 seconds. Want that heart rate going and your ponytail holder to fall out. <laughs> Then, uh, Chrissy's going to move into the Spider-Man. So we're going to do another type of lunge where we bring that elbow into that inside knee. Again, opening up those hips. Hips are so important in derby, you guys. Two or three, one way and then the other. About 30 seconds just to wake your body up. And then we're going to move into the zombie, which is one of my favorites. <laughs> Working out those hamstrings. Arms straight out in front of you, bringing your toes up, not pointing your toes. Your toes are up in the air, coming up to those fingers, not fingers to toes. So then we're going to do some walking quad stretches. Again, again, using the space that you have, stretch out, heel to your butt or as close as you can. Movement, two to three each way, 30 seconds. And then another favorite of mine, uh, inchworms. So you're gonna start standing up. Yep, get a little safe. Uh, fingers to the ground, walk it out into that push up position, do a push up, and then walk it forward with your feet. Take your time with this one. Really feel the stretch in your body. Yes. And the last thing we're gonna do are some circles. You're gonna start uh, with your shoulders and you're gonna roll your shoulders forward and back. You're gonna bring that into full arm circles. Forward and back. We'll do some big circles and some small circles. Yeah. And then um, we want you to bend your arms at the elbow and stir some spaghetti. Pretend you've got big pots of spaghetti that you're stirring. Yeah. And just really work on these circles with your elbows, shoulders, everything. We're going to bring it all the way down to our wrists and do some wrist rotations inside and out. Hell yeah. That's your dynamic warm-up. 